Oh, hey guys, Keithy Six here, metal detecting in Alaska. I'm back out this evening to that same mining spot that I was at last time where I found the pick. So I have about an hour, hour and a half before dark. So let's see what we can find in that time. I brought my bounty hunter, Time Ranger Pro, and uh, my little probe. So we'll walk around and see what we can find. Well, I decided to stop by this hole on the way through and probed around a little bit and I hit some glass and I found a broken cork top and a real small broken cork top and I just got lucky and, or is it, I just hit what looks like a, a glass stopper. So hey, that's cool better than nothing. I think this hole needs dug out to get down deeper because my probe only reaches so far. All right, sweet. Little bit of glass on the way through. Let's keep going. Well, my first target looks like it's just a more modern penny. Now, next target looks like a part to an old lantern. I just found a little, looks like maybe a 22 bullet. Somebody must have been hunting out here. I've got a big iron target here, so I'm curious to see what it is. Is it a pick? Oh! Oh! Check that out! Double-edged axe. Sweet. Wow. I knew it was going to be something big because it just blew my ears off. It was a huge iron target. Wow. Sweet. That is awesome. Man, I can't believe it. Another good target with the Bounty Hunter Time Ranger Pro. Wow. <laughs> Old box. And of course, I gotta find some nails. Well, my next target's some kind of lid. I'm thinking like to a salt or pepper shaker because it has all these little holes. Cool find. I just found this uh, opening key where you unroll like a sardine can or whatever. I just dug up another trap. Well, it's getting dark on me. Down to my last target. Looks like a little wood, or... What's that? Whoa, did you guys... 
Did you guys hear that? It sounded like something howling. Still hear it. Sweet little box. Boy, that freaked me out. Oh. All right, so I'm working my way back. Whoa, did you hear that? Oh man, something just threw something in the water right beside me. Oh, jeez. All right, guys, let's get out of here. I just threw something else in the water just now. All right, I'm finally getting close to the road. Ooh, that scared the crap out of me. Let's get back to the house and get ready for the roundup. Well, hey guys, welcome to my roundup. Here's everything I found tonight on that short evening hunt. And boy, was it a spooky walk coming out of the woods. My best target for this evening was this double-bladed axe head. I love finding these things. Just think somebody was chopping wood or building something with this during the gold rush. I'd love to put a, a new handle on it and restore it. That'd be really cool. And then I found the top to an old lantern. And then I found an old tin. I think this was probably an old tobacco tin. I found the key to the top of another can that you would crank to open it. Like maybe a sardine can. I did find a lot of old disintegrated cans. Didn't bring all that home. Uh, let's see here. I found a nice lid that has a lot of holes in it. And this thing turned. So I'm not sure if that was for spices or maybe uh, uh, salt and pepper. Something like that. I did find a couple old broken cork tops. I would have loved to have found one of these whole. But I did find a whole, oh, there's a bug on it, a whole glass stopper. Oh, and it says something on the top. I never noticed that. Lee and Perrins. That's what it says, Lee and Perrins. I think that's like a Worcestershire sauce or something like that. Sweet, that's nice. And then I found this little tin, and I think it says something about aspirin on it. So it must have had aspirins in that. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, not a bad hunt for just a few hours in the evening. All right, guys, till next time, I hope everybody has good luck and happy hunting. And I'll see you later on the next one. Good luck from Alaska. Thank mm -hmm. you.